uh, best-selling suspense novelist, Joe Finder. Finder. Oh, you say Finder, Finder. I say Finder. 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 Uh, he also had a big article coming up this morning on the Daily Beast focusing on Leon Panetta and the CIA. And later, oh my goodness, I'm very excited oh. about this. Actor Sir Ben Kinsley will join us. And, and we also have a poll out on people's ideology, conservative or liberal, oh, good. Uh, that the Gallup poll just put out a pretty big finding. But first, oh. an exclusive look at Politico's top stories this morning. Keep it on Morning Joe, brewed by Starbucks. With us now, member of the Association of Former Intelligence Officers and contributor to the DailyBeats.com, Joe Finder, author of the novel Vanished. Yeah, yeah, th this would be a successful novel, but for the fact, no promo. Yeah, no, there's no, no like, game. there's no <laughs> from his they company. Don't, they don't really, you okay. know, tell anybody about well, it. No, will I you mean, please get, get the, the word New York out. Times today? <laughs> yeah. is actually on the back. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I told you. That's pretty good. In the Daily Beast, Joe writes Excellent. about CIA Director Leon Panetta's emergency briefing to Congress earlier this summer about a supposedly secret terrorist assassination program and the explosive scenes that followed. He writes this, Panetta spoke personally with each of his three predecessors, George Tenet, Porter Goss, and Michael Hayden, and only then realized the mistake he'd made about the program. An innocent mistake, but the consequences of his gaffe, which he's unable to admit without damaging his own reputation further, will likely subject U.S. intelligent capabilities to unnecessary and intrusive mm -hmm. oversight for years to come. So Joe Leon wow. understands he screwed up. He does, uh, according to my very good sources. Uh, innocent mistake. Uh, you know, he, he's a man of great integrity. He really right. is. And he, he was brought in there to clean things up. And he gets a routine briefing by the head of the counterterrorism center. They tell him about this kind of plan that's a, not much more than a PowerPoint presentation. You know, it's, right. it's, it's, it's a task force. Right. Nothing. That's been dormant on and off for years. It's one of dozens of plans. And, and I by think the way, we're talking, about this, we're talking about this assassination. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's right. about these these CIA right. hit squads, right. CIA assassination squad. squads. And he pretty much panicked. He didn't. He doesn't. I'm told no trust enough people inside the agency to explain how things work. So rather than sort of figuring out what happened, setting up a meeting in in Congress a week from now, let's say. Yeah. He called up the head of the House uh, Committee and said, I want to come in from ASAP for a briefing. Right. Uh, the CIA has been withholding something from Congress. Hmm. Well, that's not true. CIA is not required. In fact, they don't, all the CIA was doing in the case of these assassination squads was collecting intelligence abroad in one country, yeah. Iraq. They Try, didn't, didn't to, have hit yet. Yeah. Trying to figure out whether it was going to work. Exactly. And, yeah. and some of the prior directors said, you know, too messy, may not work. Yeah. We would, we would leave allies uh, twisting in the wind. Right. So this was an idea they looked at, they yeah. put on the back burner. Somebody comes back, says, maybe we try it again. Mm -hmm. Again, never passed really a PowerPoint presentation. They, they couldn't figure it out. They'd hired a couple of people. They'd done some basic research. But, you know, the CIA. But the conclusion was always the same, too messy. Yeah. We can't I mean, do it. Don't forget, legally. CIA had the right to assassinate terrorists. This was an order, on the, an executive finding on the part of George Bush from September 01. Right. Okay. They didn't hold that kind of stuff back from Congress. These days it's too risky. So they weren't going to hold it back, but it wasn't anywhere near the state where you briefed to Congress. So, so Leon Panetta goes, he briefs to Congress, yeah. he gets burned. Yep. I suspect he's not going to trust Congress as much because they, they leak it immediately to try to help Nancy Pelosi, who right. was in I a free so. fall at the yeah. time politically. Yeah. So that. now we've got another CIA director that's not going to trust Congress. Right, but that's not the problem so much as the fact that the CIA is about to go through some, uh, you know, basically a colonoscopy, all right? I mean, it's about to go through some serious, uh, there's, a, there's a massive investigation in Congress right now that's gearing up. 
into how the CIA has lied to Congress. Mm. You know, we always think that the CIA is like the Bourne identity, you know, where they've got these hit squads. Right. And they are such a timid bureaucracy. Yeah. I mean, they, they, are, they, they cover themselves There's so a, much. As I'm sure you know, I mean, I've, I have friends from my days in Congress yeah. that work there. They always say that people will ask, you know, do you do you this, do you do that? Do you? Yep. And the running joke of the CIA is, oh, no, they do that on the other floor. Yeah. And everybody on every not floor yeah. says, yeah, yeah. oh, not on our floor. And it's just yeah. kind of like and, a yeah. joke. It ain't. It, it, the, it ain't what it ain't Jason Bourne. Yeah, and the last CIA director, this big plan that we were talking about, the last CIA director didn't even mention it to Cheney or Bush or Stephen Hadley, the National Security Advisor. He didn't even talk about it. Never briefed to Congress because there was nothing to brief. Said Hayden. So, uh, yeah, that was Hayden. Yeah. Yeah. Hayden. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to an associate of his who you know knows. So, what is your conclusion here about Leon Panetta? My conclusion is that Panetta, though an honorable, decent person, was probably not the best choice at this time because he doesn't know where the levers are. Joe, Joe, why did they put a guy in, like Leon Panetta, a good guy, everybody that knows him totally. in Washington, yep. likes him, respects him, but I had people, Democrats and Republicans alike, saying, Leon Panetta? CIA? Porter Goss, who was a CIA agent, got run out of the agency because his aides were not of the right. agency. That's right. That's so right. Now we're going to put a guy in who, again, I'd put in the charge of a lot of cabinet agencies, but not the CIA. Yeah. Why did Barack Obama pick a guy and throw him to the wolves? I think Obama wanted someone whose hands were clean, right? That meant someone who was not associated with any of the torture stuff that the CIA is right. involved in, right? right? So he put in someone who was a complete outsider. And unfortunately, that's always a problem at the CIA because it's a, it's, you know how hard it is to run, you know, an office, to run a bureaucracy the size right. of the CIA that's a secret intelligence bureaucracy. It's really difficult. Well, it, it's and he doesn't know how it works. It's and messy. Long time it, it's messy. There are always books out mm -hmm. that talk about, uh, you know, Legacy of Ashes, I think. And yeah, goes, oh, great you've, book. Yeah. you've got to read that book. It shows you how dysfunctional and evil the CIA is. And, and I read the book and I get, well, no, actually what it shows is you have an open society yep. and a very secret agency that is put on the map to protect. Right. Langley is about protecting our freedoms, and yet there's always these inherent And operating in an atmosphere like none other. Right, like yeah, none yeah. other. And you know, it's going to be sloppy. We, and political, the, the winds shift all the time in Washington, right? right? Where we want to get Al-Qaeda, and then it's like, wait, what do we do? Mm. The yeah. CIA was told to do this stuff like the bad stuff, the torturing, right. the secret renditions and all that. I don't like it. I think it was a mistake. But they were told to do it, and, and now and Eric Holder wants to have a special prosecutor to go after these guys who did what they were told to do. And at the same time, remember the conversation on September 12th, September 13th, September yeah. 14th, where everybody said, well, you know, we're, we're going to have to deal with people right. with dirty hands. Yeah. We've got to grow up and understand yeah. we live in a more dangerous world. Right. And then when the world seems a bit more safe, now suddenly Complacent. we want to yeah. penalize those people. Yeah, and what I think is going to happen as a result of this is there's going to be a lot of pressure. On the, I mean, Congress, look, what's really going on is Congress is sort of like an angry mob, you know, at the end of uh, Frankenstein with the torches, mm -hmm. you know, like they want to go after Bush and Cheney. And they really but, but, but here's the deal, though. They were angry on September 12th because we didn't go far right, enough. That's right. Now they're angry in August of 2009 right. because we went too far. Right. And when we get hit again, yeah, yeah. it will go back. They'll be angry Fentil for another reason. swing. That's yeah. right. I want to know. And, about and it's the CIA's always yeah. left out in the breeze. Those yeah. agents always hung out to that drive. do it are the ones that always get. Paid. Willie, ask him about Joe, the book. You say the CIA spying isn't as sexy as it may seem, but I think yeah. you do a pretty good job of making it sexy. So Tell us about sexy Vanish. Book. Yeah, yeah, okay. So the, the hero of Vanish is what I call a private spy. He's a guy who is an intel who basically does the same work he used to do, but in the private sector. For politicians, for corporations, for foreign governments. The interesting thing is there are these people now, really skilled people in CIA and other intelligence yeah. agencies who are in the private sector because the CIA downsized yeah. before 9-11. They laid up all these people and the best and the brightest in the agency, a lot of them said enough with this yeah. or they took early retirement and they went private. And they worked yeah. for who? And, and listen, a lot of them now work for the CIA. All right. But 